Welcome back, y'all, to the 5 nothing 100 nothingcom channel. I am Fergit. That stands for the funniest underread redneck guru using illiterate tactics. Today, guys, I'm back. Sorry, too much chew. Care a lot later. <laughs> we got business to attend to, Jack. <laughs> we got some tips for you. I got five big ones for you, baby. <laughs> <coughs> All right. Here's what we got today, guys. These are my five tips for dealing with mumble rap. All right. And I think you've all, y'all know what I'm talking about, that mumble rap. All right. So here's my five tips for dealing with it. All right. Here's what you got. The first one, first tip, you just ignore it, all right? What's that old saying? I think my grandpappy said it once. Ignorance is bliss, right? So if you just ignore it, it'll go away. Just like your problems, just like, you know, things that go on in your life. You don't like it, just don't deal with it. Mm -mm, life's too short. You, you just got to. You got to move on. You know what I mean? Keep on down the road, they say. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I missed you guys. I always miss you. That's tip number one. The second tip, right, is you got to pretend that you ain't hearing it. All right. What do they say? Whenever, you know, people are trolling you, call them trolls, you know, they're talking and talking and. You know, they're spewing nothing but hate from the pit of hell. You know, Bible talks about that. You don't listen to that. You pretend you ain't hearing it. And people don't like to be ignored, right? Mm -mm. People want to be heard. They want to be validated. But you give them validation and mm -mm. you're just putting, you're heaping, you're heaping hot coals on the fire. You're throwing logs in the fire, right? You're throwing... You're throwing water in a hot pan of grease. You're just making sparks. And this ain't no 4th of July video. Mm -mm. The greatest day in American history. The greatest country in America. The U.S. of A. by God. Mm -mm. I don't want to get sidetracked with my patriotism. But y'all know, I lived and died for this country. I thank God for it every day. I pray for it every day. I pray for you. I pray for your children, your children's children. All of them. Because it's going to bring you a return on investment. <laughs> All right. Tip number three. How to deal with that mumble rap, right? It's simple. You got to change the station. You got to take that dial and you got to turn it to another station. Mm -mm. So you just got to tune out, right? Reminds me of an old joke I have. It's one of my many jokes. I'm going to tell you guys that I'm working on my stand-up routine. Um, I'm going to see that Joe the Rogan, right? The guy from the Rogaine commercials. I think that's why they got the Rogaine, Rogan. I know, um, but the funny thing is he's balder than an eagle, than, a, than an extinct eagle, right? Or an endangered specimen, that Rogan. So I'm going to go watch his stand-up, kind of see if I can get a little backstage pass, you know? Give him some of my tips. Give him five tips to being a better comedian and a better American. He sits there with that ganja weed, they call it. What, the ganja weed? Smoking that stuff. He's just killing brain cells. All I know is old Fergit, I can't spare another one. Save my life. But good thing I'm an American. Because here, we have freedom. And freedom's never free, baby. Never. We... We lived and died for this country, every one of us, every last American. Mm. So, my joke, remember this, when I say you tune out, you can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. <laughs> uh, I know you guys love that one. <laughs> All right, what's the next tip right here, right? Next one is talk it over, right? That's tip number four. Talk it over, okay? Shout, don't pout. That's what I say, you know? You don't like that mumble coming out? Y'all hear that? 
I know with them aliens again. Mm -mm. Every time we get close to election year, we got them aliens poking around. Probably trying to mess with our, our GPSs and our, our internets and our Instagrams. Trying to mess with everything. Mm -mm. You bring your alien ass up in my my neck of the woods and we're gonna have we're gonna see what you're made of, you alien. <laughs> If it, even if it's an illegal alien, <laughs> anything with alien, it's going out. It's getting taken out, baby. <laughs> Old Fergus got his guns loaded. I got, I got Lefty and I got Rosie and her five daughters. What's another? Never mind. Never mind. Mama doesn't like to talk about that no more. All right. So, talk it over, right? Tip number four. And tip number five. How to deal with bumble wrap, right? Sometimes you just got to ask mama to speak up, you know? I mean, you know, she's sitting there mumbling under her breath, you know? And she's just like, you know, usually it's, um, I mean, let's look at the facts, right? Let's face the facts, Jack. All women get ticked off from time to time. And they're all going to mumble under their breath when they get mad at you. And that's why I give you these five tips, right? Because, you know... What are the kids saying today? You know, let's rap, let's talk. But you're gonna do that mumble rap? Well, I can't believe he didn't take out the garbage. I can't believe he ain't worked in seven years. Oh, you know, that kind of stuff, you know? Just, women are women, right? But you know what? You thank God for them every day. They lived and died for this country. They produced your seed, your spawn your next of kin, the inheritance to the throne. That's right. Because when they inherit your inheritance that you left them, you're going to inherit a rich kingdom up in by God heaven, right? And old Fergus is going to get some new wings. He's going to get a new body. He's going to be flying high with with Jesus himself. Old Jesus. <laughs> uh, unless old Jesus is one of them aliens, you know. But... That's another topic for another video, you guys. Like, share, subscribe. I love you. Look for me. Probably be uh, having Rogaine, Rogan, whatever. Open up for me one of these days. He's got to show me his, he's a real American, though. I want to see some proof. I want to see a birth certificate. And that old birth certificate is going to tell me everything I need to know about that man. And I'm going to give him some tips on growing that hair back. Because that Rogaine ain't cutting it. All right, old Fergus, old Fergus, a hair, a hairball. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a wildebeest, they say. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you. I missed you. All right, take care. I'll talk to you again soon.